guys, I don't know what's going on, but I have this burst of energy right now. Good morning! It's been a crazy morning for JJ and I because JJ woke up with the what? What did, what happened when you woke up? What happened? Itching. Huh? A blood. Blood where? Where? I was bleeding. You were bleeding where? Where was the blood coming from? Your nose? Another nosebleed. Ho ho ho. I mean, he, he did pretty well for a kid. I mean, he used to like cry and get freaked out. And now that since he gets it all the time, he's like so used to having nosebleeds and like he doesn't like freak out anymore. So, but yeah, nosebleed early in the morning. And then I had really bad leg cramps. Mama, go leg! At like, I don't know, I think it was at midnight. I can't remember. So the leg cramps, I was, I left off with that, but let me continue before I head to work. Um, it was hurting so bad that it woke Javier up, which is a good thing. I mean, Javier doesn't usually wake up when there's like, I don't know, like noise or whatever. Like I, I'm a light sleeper. Like I hear anything, especially when JJ's crying or whatever. I hear him like instantly, but with Javier would never, would not even hear JJ crying. But yesterday he like got up so fast that it woke him up and um and he he was able to get the lotion on my my deep blue rub on my uh, on my nightstand because i couldn't seriously like move at all like i couldn't even flex my feet towards me because it was hurting so so bad finally home there was so much traffic today i don't know why there was no accident or at least i didn't see it i didn't see any accidents but but Red Cyber Nerd kept me company in the car. I was talking to her on my way to get JJ at daycare. So that was that was awesome. Thanks, Cyber Nerd. Um, what else? It was good catching up with her. I was just telling her all about work and how how she's not missing out on anything. And yeah, it was great talking to you if you're watching this. Um, what else is going on? Oh yeah, and I I look and I feel super super pregnant right now today marks my 20 weeks and i am feeling a pumpkin seed on my belly i'm like touching my belly right now and there is this bump hold on i'm gonna show you there's this thing do you see that i don't know there's right there see that it's a pumpkin seed <laughs> i was eating pumpkin seed and it kept falling like down my cleavage and i guess it went right on my stomach hold on let me go get that there it is. See, found a pumpkin seed. <laughs> a pumpkin seed. It was funny when I, I went to the gym today. Oh my gosh, seriously, I feel so, so pregnant right now. I went to the gym today and I felt the pumpkin seed. I, I knew there were like pumpkin seed like under my, um, my, my dress or my tank top right now. Um, so I took off like everything like I got undressed and everything and like three pumpkin seeds fell off <laughs> I'm like really that's what happens when you're pregnant <laughs> Oh gosh, but yeah super super pregnant. I Okay, I I don't know. Okay, you tell me if this is normal because I feel like this I would experience this like Like my third trimester and not my second trimester. I I just feel so so full like there's no more room in my stomach like i couldn't even eat my um whatchamacallit i couldn't eat my afternoon snack today because i just felt so full that there's no room there's no food or there's no room for food in my stomach i don't know like yeah. all right let me show you how big this stomach is right now if i could get a good shot hold on there you go that is how big it is. Um, I don't know. I'm just super, super pregnant. And our floor, kitchen floor, is so sticky right now because JJ's been eating those jelly um, thingies and the juice is like spilling everywhere on the kitchen. 
so I got a mop this. Oh, so much to do today and I just don't want to do anything. I just want to relax and not do anything, but I've got so much stuff. Anyways, um, what else do I need to tell you? Yeah, so tell me if that is normal. Do, is, is it normal to feel that way that my tummy is just so, so big or the baby is growing? I don't know. Like, right now, the baby is the size of a banana according to my bump app, pregnancy app. A size of a banana and up, I think about 10 ounces, 10 point something ounces, so close to a pound. But you know, maybe my placenta is big. I heard placenta is like the biggest of all, like a seven pounder or something. I don't know. Oh, by the way, I've been thinking about eating my placenta. What do you guys think about that? Anyways, that's another story. Um... Probably I'll mention that on my pregnancy update. You're just gonna have to see. Uh, so yeah, um, I am also on the right track of my weight gain. It's a healthy weight gain according to this calculation that I found online. Um, according to my according to my pre-pregnancy weight and how far along I am, I Mama. am on the right track. So, Mama. yes. I want what the, do you need? I want I should get cooking. No, <laughs> I should do that. No, Mama. What is it? Do you want the jelly juice or the jelly cups? Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. I mop steam mop the floor. Hi Jay. I steam mop the floor while the pasta's cooking. So, they tell you what we're having. We're having fettuccine, shrimp fettuccine for dinner tonight. Um, so, I'm just cooking up the pasta. Garlic bread is in the little toaster oven that we have. This is um, JJ and I's garlic bread. I just, just regular bread that we have. And then I put, I whipped up some butter with garlic, garlic powder and parmesan not parmesan, parsley, and then sprinkled with parmesan cheese. That is how I make my garlic bread. I don't usually buy um, the store garlic bread because J Javier is the only one who eats regular bread here. Jay and I eat the gluten-free one, so they don't have gluten-free garlic bread. I wish they do, but the homemade one's actually way better than the thing anyway. Actually, it tastes similar. Very, very close because I'm just good like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just making that. I'm just waiting for the pasta. And then, what else? Um, and then that's it. And then, I mean, the, the sauce and the shrimp, that's very easy to make. I'm just warming it up. Since the shrimp is already cooked. So, and then I'm just heating up the, what do you call it? The, um, the pasta sauce? Where is my strainer? Is that what you call it? A strainer? something i found it all done i'm just gonna plate it up and dinner it will be served you guys i don't know what's going on but i have this burst of energy right now that i like seriously uh, what are you doing hey hey what did i tell you hey i know but you don't put that in your mouth remember my only mama so JJ's playing with his, his Legos and he's using his teeth to uh, get the the Legos out. Um, what was I saying? Yes, this energy. I was seriously like super tired and super pregnant that I just all I wanted to do was to just sit down and relax. But after when I was cooking, I told you that I was um I was steaming the floor because it was sticky and then cooking at the same time. I know I'm a multitasker. And, and ever since then, I'm like, okay, I I need to clean. Like, I just have this energy to clean up. So, after dinner, dinner was awesome, by the way. It was so, so good. After dinner, um, I just started cleaning up. I was running the laundry. I was just washing the dishes, cleaning all that stuff. And um, cleaned out the fridge like our fridge is seriously empty right now all we have is just the watermelon and some fruits and I, I vacuumed doing laundry and, and now it's nine o'clock 
oh my god where is this energy coming from oh wait i'm pregnant i'm not nesting i don't think that's kind of early right but anyways um i think i'm pretty much done i'm just gonna relax for a little bit i'm still waiting for the dryer and then once that's done then i could um put the the one in the laundry or the washer in the dryer so that will dry up do you guys get what i'm saying yes i hope so oh, and i'm catching my breath oh my gosh oh and i think i know what it is i um when i got home i was diffusing wild orange and balance wild orange gives you kind of like boost of energy you know and balance keeps your stress away and also balances your hormones so everything everybody's like so calm in here and that's probably that's probably another thing why i have this so much energy to clean up because of the essential oils and, I, and then i started playing music just to like keep things going what the heck oh my god one crazy night but i kind of want to share what i want to do um starting today uh i kind of like want to like every night before i go to bed i kind of want to list down all the things that i am grateful for like 10 5 to 10 things that i am very grateful for and also the things that i ate like kind of like a food journal and then kind of and I, I used to keep a food journal, but I don't know. I just kept stopping and then starting over again and then stopping it and starting over. Well, I'm going to start again on the food journal. But I'm also going to add like five to ten things that I'm grateful for for the day. For like example, today, I am very, very thankful for essential oils because that kind of just gave me energy and stress-free today after work you know um jj's been very very quiet too he's just kind of like leaving me alone I'm telling you the essential oils oh my god they are amazing so that is what i want to do i want to just sit down after i vlog um or before i go to bed i just kind of want to just sit down and have kind of like a me time for like i don't know 15 minutes or something and just just think about all the things that i'm grateful for for like you know or things that happened today and just jot them down and things that i ate today um so that's what i wanted to do so so i think i'm gonna end the vlog with that note so oh no i think that's it <laughs> so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys like the burst of energy give it a thumbs up comment down below and i will see you tomorrow bye